Hey everyone, welcome back to Huntsville Ham Fest 2021. Man, it's been a long time since I've been to a Ham Fest and a lot of you still couldn't make it, but there's always something to see and always something to buy. And I ran into Mick again because yeah. Mick's another friend of mine. I said, hey Mick, I always gotta stop by and see Comet. How you doing, Mick? I'm doing great. I, I wish we had some unique, brand new stuff I could show you, but uh, this, this time it's just our, our regular booth. Well, here's what I wanna do because there's a lot of people that have come to me, thousands of people this, just today, they would say, wow, I just got in a hobby. Maybe they don't know, or they haven't come here, they don't know what kind of stuff dealers have or manufacturers. And I want to look at Comet, we'll give a little browse for a minute and see what Comet has, and gives you an idea to go to the website, start browsing, maybe start picking up. Everybody always needs a new antenna. Everybody always needs to replace that stock antenna on their vehicle, or I mean on their handheld, or get a better antenna for the vehicle. Yeah, just to see, everybody's always curious. I wonder if I just swap the antenna, how much uh, more range I can get. I, you know what, here, I wonder if you have an antenna that will fit my R Finder B1. I'm not sure. So you know, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we got. So Comet has made their name in the amateur business because everything that they make doesn't require you to drill a hole in your car. And that's a, one, one of the fear of a lot of hams or, or their wives or their families. Like, oh, God, uh, he's a ham. Now he's going to be drilling holes. I've in drilled a hole in my escort, Mick. Right. I have done it. You're, uh, you're lucky. A lot of people just don't want to do it. Exactly. So everything Comet specializes is, is items that don't require you to drill holes. All these are what they call lip mounts. Yes. Because the mount slips over the lip of the trunk edge, the mount slips over the lip of a door, or the lip of the hood, mm -hmm. or the lip of the hatchback, if you want to look up at this. Uh, yep, that's, how, that's almost almost how I have, I have a Comet lip mount with a Comet SBB7. Right. And I have it mounted on the back of my uh, Transit 250, just Perfect. like that, and it works great. It, it, and it, no, no, no drilling at all. No drilling at all. Right. There's a piece of soft, uh, plastic on, on the base that protects the car paint. Right. Um, the little Allen screws that go in. That bite yeah, into from, the, from the bottom side. Right. Yeah, so you don't even leave any marks. So it's an easy way to install it. Uh, the problem with lip mounts in the past was that getting this diameter coax through the uh, weather seal will always either cut the coax in half mm -hmm. or uh, started wind noise by pushing the door out right. or starting water leaks. So there's a lot of issues. But Comet solved that by building this little lead-in of mini coax. And I, I have that, yes. Yeah, so this gets through the weather seal without any of those issues. Do you think that increases loss with that little mini part? It does. This is very lossy coax. Okay. But the, all this coax is double shielded, right. low loss that compensates. So I'd rather have a little bit of loss there, but have the door sh shut and tight because I know that I had a door jam one time. I didn't realize it was leaking. Right. It followed the coax down. Yeah, and, and I had a rust spot in the floor through the right. metal because it followed that down so much. I'd rather have the door closed tightly, like you said. Right. Now this, and this is low loss coax. So this compensates more than compensates. Right. So this whole assembly is about 35% less loss than a standard mag mount, okay. even with this mini coax. Mm -hmm. I mean, Comet uses the best of all the connectors, gold-plated connector, Teflon insulator. And guys, that's a big deal because there are it mounts does. out there floating around on Amazon and everywhere else, and the, 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 the connectors came off. They came off. I have two mag mounts that I bought for a, for a test on Amazon. Things came right off. They're just they came cheap. right out. They just pulled right out. And they I mean, they're cheap. They're, not they're cheap. Be yeah. There, you got it. This, there is a difference between so, a, a good mount. I'm telling you. And then the Comet has developed this reverse thread connector, so that if this is the coax that you're going to move up to the front of to the radio, you're going to push this under the carpet. You maybe go through a little hole. You can take the barrel off, get it up to your radio, then screw the barrel back. Do on. you know I never knew why that happened? Yeah. I always just thought it was a two-piece connector. That is ingenious. I feel kind of silly not yeah, knowing no, that, Mick. That's why I wanted to point it out. It's, Mick, are you telling me I cut my carpet just for that and didn't even know it? Or how many times people call me and say, hey, I cut that coax off, the connector off. I go, why? Well, because it had to go through a little hole. Why didn't you take the barrel off? Wow. What? 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 <laughs> so, all right. All right. So we've got that covered. Yeah. So there's a lot of people, like all day long, people have said, well, you got a lot of mounts. What's the difference? I mean, small little antenna, small mount. You know, medium-sized antenna, medium-sized mount. Larger antennas to this end, larger, more stable, more footprint, a mount. So where, is, where is my antenna, the SPV7? 7 is right here. 
That antenna is amazing. Now that antenna is a little bit taller, it's taller but I could work simple. I could work the D-Star repeater 35, 40 miles out. Right, without worrying about it. Yeah, and exactly. And the mount I have, I'm, I'm not sure it might well, might be one of them. It's this one. Okay, so it's that one. Yeah, and uh, it, it it goes all different directions. Yeah. So so no matter what angle the truck, right, or the right hatchback, or even like a vertical door, like a truck, yep, or a transit van that the, the back doors are straight vertical. Right. You can just they're actually cockeyed. They, they, when you open it, it's cockeyed. When you close it, straight. So you got to make sure that the door or the, the mount can move anywhere and then I, right. it's, it's straight now you know so it'll, it'll adjust it virtually anything I, mm -hmm. so this is Comet's answer so for mounting antennas without drilling holes and without making marks and being able to take it off one car and move it to another car right you know in, in 10 minutes mm -hmm. so. now I looking at this here what's this one here that's a 40, that's HF and? HF, six meters, two meters, and 440. Nice. So guys, look, they do make something for HF. Attention all young hands. Attention all young hands. That's 21 or younger. You have to be specific. Any young hands in the audience, if you'll make your way. So this is Comet's HF, two meter, 440, mobile antenna. Okay. So this main mast is six meters, two meters, and 440. So if you're driving back and forth to work, grocery store, two meters and 40 is all you're using. You can have the antenna this small. However, you're gonna to go to grandma's house, you're taking a trip and you wanna be on Get HF. Get some HF going, yeah. You can grab any or all three of the HF coils and just attach them. That's the 40 meter on top. Okay. But you can put the 10 meter or the 20 meter whatever you want and you can put all three of them on. So it doesn't matter where they're, do you have to put the 40 on top or? Well, for just for weight. Just That's the longest one, yeah. Just for weight, but RF finds the path of least resistance. Sure, sure. So whichever coil is the band you're on, that's what it finds. Right, so that's what it resonates on. It's like a, yeah. Right, okay. so it's just a, just a matter, you can put them all on if you want to, but it gets a little top heavy if you add them all. Right, 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 okay. But the great thing is it's, you know, 100 and, Eighty-nine dollars for yeah. HF six meters two meters. And, and that's the thing; it, 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 each it, all those bands, it's it's resonant on each one of those bands. Right. And right. You, so you're not using a tuner or anything. They're each each one is a different coil for a different band. Right. Now, when you put it on, you want to slide this tuning stub right to the part of the band you're going to be transmitting. And if you leave like that 10, 20, 30 kilohertz, an antenna tuner is nice because it'll bring the rest of your back down. Uh -huh. But to start off with, if you're just within that 10, 15 kilohertz, 20 kilohertz, you don't need a tuner either. So it's easy, it's simple, it's not expensive. It'll fit on these normal lit mounts. Right. You don't have to make a big giant mount. Um, the antenna still Just rolls over. Back to the youth lounge. Here we go in our finder three one. Here in just a second to the young man. Oh, fold over, cool. Our courtesy of Ampation. And this is Comet's foldover. It's got this threaded collar. Uh, a lot of the Chinese and the knockoffs, they use just a spring-loaded hinge. Yes. And at about 50, 60, 70 miles an hour. Went, mine went right over. I had an old Anytone China one, and it did that, and right. it came right over. No right. matter which way you had the thing anchor, uh, right. face in it, it came over. And that happened to Comet the first time they tried it, and then they redesigned the foldover with this threaded locking right. collar. That's cool. To lock it in place so you don't have that problem. Right. Man, all this, you know, yeah, it costs an extra five bucks. Yeah, but but it's sure. it's the the idea. I'm gonna ask you one more thing here. I've seen this before. I haven't seen this before, but I'll tell you where I have seen it was with uh, Directv. When I worked at Directv, this is the last resort for people that you know couldn't do this. They had a jumper like this for cable TV coax. Yes. And it looks like you have the same thing with for 50 ohm. for 50 ohm, right? Not 75 ohm, and. That'll actually get someone to close the door on the coax without damaging it. Yep, you can slide the window shut all the way, lock the window. Look at that. And, and that will add a little bit of loss, but at least it's better than having nothing, right? Right. Exactly. Or drill another hole in the wall, or if it's an apartment or a condo. or Yeah, I get a, I get a lot of questions of people in condos and apartments, and, and they, uh, they, they say, how do I get my coax out there? And unfortunately, I, I didn't know about this from Comet. I knew about it from other ways, but yeah, not, I didn't realize you guys yeah, had people it. People make uh, blocks that, that you can fit you know, in this gap, a, a block. Of right. Wood. We do that at field day, and then we drill the holes through the block. Right. Right. Um, but then sometimes you're leaving the window open. Yeah. And uh, you, know, you don't want anybody to be able to open your window and right. in the house. Right. So it gives you your security and the antenna without uh, hooked up without any holes drilled in the wall. It's a great option. It really yes. works well. Cool.
courtesy of so that's more the just Comet has these unique ideas. They do a good job, and when they do make a mistake, and this is ten of them hold it over in the wind. Yeah, they, fix it. they recognize the mistakes and they fix it instead of just keep selling them until they break. All right, so that's and I, I remember checking this out years ago. And uh, how's that doing as far as sales? Are people still buying that? It's phenomenal. Yeah, I remember when it first came out, and that would be it might have been Orlando about three years ago, and uh, we took a look at that. And you can go, guys, and go back and check out that video from a couple years ago. It shows a lot of stuff for an analyzer. So this antenna is hooked up to a 40 meter dipole right now. So we're just going to press this center sweep center button, and the and it's going to find the resonant point. It will it will plot the SWR curve. The analog needle start moving, the dip starts being plotted, it and it's in the memory. Every ham band is in the memory. So once you choose the band you want, you just press sweep center and yeah. sweep the band. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Comet's got some good stuff. Comet has some good stuff. Mick, I want to thank you for the tour here. It's always good seeing you, you know? And it's always fun. It's somebody somebody that uh, may already know about Comet says, well, but there's yeah. always somebody out there, Mick, that has no idea yeah. or that is just learning about this. and. Hopefully I was... Uh, yeah, two-thirds of you know everything we just talked over, but a third of you are like, oh, I didn't know There's that. always somebody new. There's always somebody that had no idea. There's always someone that's never been to a ham fest in their life. Yeah, Nick. come on down. I, I've met someone today. He said he met someone that said they've never met an actual another operator in their life. They've been no. talking on ham radio. They never met another operator. I don't know how, but it it's, uh, thanks, Mick, for your time. You guys, right. visit Comet. The links are in the description. There's a lot of distributors for Comet, and yeah, check out their right. stuff. And uh, until next time, there's a giveaway going on, and we're going to find out if the youth really wins that R Finder B1. So let's head over there now. See you, Mick. All right, take care.